Welcome to another edition of Myths of Body Armor. So a common comment we see, one that comes up a lot is level three plus has to stop X, Y, or Z round. Or another variation of it is level three plus cannot stop X, Y, or Z round. So fault. Now the reason that that is fault is that level three plus doesn't fall within the NIJ standards, so there are no requirements for stopping capabilities for level three plus armor. Um, that NIJ outlines ballistic performance requirements, but level three plus is not a designated level within those standards. So to say level three plus has to stop X, Y, or Z round doesn't really make a lot of sense because there's nothing that designates what it has to stop. Now, the only thing I would say that it does have to stop or the requirements it does have to meet is level three. The idea behind level three plus is that it stops, meets level three plus some additional rounds. So it's gonna at least meet the requirements, stop the rounds labeled in level three, um, but otherwise it, there's no set requirement. So to take a little step back here, so the NIJ standards outline minimum ballistic performance requirements for body armor. So they, they put out testing standards that body armor must meet those standards in order to be labeled at the corresponding level. Uh, it makes it clean and, and simple to know what body armor is capable of stopping. So for example, level three body armor must stop an M80 ball round, it's your 762 by 51 or your 308 round traveling at 2,780 feet per second. So if the body armor is not capable of stopping that, it cannot be labeled as level three. Now, if it can, if it does stop that round and meets the other requirements such as back face deformation, multi-hit capabilities, and so forth, then it is level three. It makes it simple. You know exactly what level three body armor, the minimum requirements are for level three body armor. Same for level three A or level four and the other levels within the standards. Now we did a full video on the NIJ standards, went into detail about different levels, the stopping capabilities and so forth. So if you have more questions on the NIJ standards, go check that out. It's a great, great informational video to give you uh, some more details on that. But level three plus does not fall within those standards. So it doesn't have any minimum, minimum stopping requirements. Um, in order to be level three plus, because it's not an official rating. Now, level three plus came about really because of the large gulf between level three and level four. Now, level three, as we just discussed, has stop M80 ball and M80 ball round. But to meet level four requirements, you must stop an M2 AP round or your 30 odd six AP round. So, obviously, armor piercing rounds behave very differently. It's they're designed to pierce armor. So, if it doesn't stop an M2 AP round, it can't be level four, which means it automatically falls back to level three. But obviously there's a ton of rounds in between an M80 ball and an M2 AP round. So to help designate armor that is more that exceeds level three standards but doesn't meet level four, armor companies started using level three plus designation. I mean, think about a lot of the rounds that fall in between there. You have some very common rounds. Your M855 green tip is a partial steel core, but it's not an AP round. So that falls outside of your level three standards. Or what about uh, higher velocity rounds that travel over 2,780 feet per second. Uh, very common for rounds to travel over that velocity. Where would those fall within the standards? So companies have, have tried to bridge that gap and they use level three plus for that. Now, the issue that comes up is there are no set standards for level three plus. So you don't know exactly the stopping capabilities, the minimum stopping capabilities of that armor because um, there is no set standard. Now, some companies, Armor is going to be much more capable. Their level three plus armor is going to stop more than another company's uh, because there's no set standard there. But that's also somewhat true for any armor level three, level three A, you know, level four, any of those. That area, it sets a minimum standard, but that doesn't mean it's not capable of stopping more. So it's got to meet the minimum, but it can definitely go above and beyond that. So for example, our level three AR500 armor is capable of stopping the M855, even though that falls outside of the standards. It meets the minimum and exceeds those. Our level three polyethylene plate will not stop an M855, but it is going to stop higher velocity rounds um, that fall outside of the standards. So once again, it meets that minimum and exceeds it. And that's, that's perfectly fine. It just has to meet that minimum in order to be labeled as that. But neither of those will meet the level four requirements, so they're still level three. Now, um, the biggest thing with level three plus is obviously there isn't that minimum to compare against. So you really need to pay attention to what each company says about their level three plus body armor. Um, so those two we talked about, M855 and the higher velocity, one company's body armor may stop M855 and be labeled as three plus, but it won't stop higher velocity rounds. Or vice versa, one may stop 
um, higher velocity around, but it won't stop M855 and they call it level three plus. Some level three plus armor will stop both. Uh, it really just varies and depends company by company. So if you want to know what that armor is capable of stopping, if it's level three plus, you just need to pay attention to what that manufacturer says about it. You need to pay attention to what those additional rounds, why it has that plus next to that level three, um, what, what it's capable of stopping. So that's really what it boils down to. Level three plus is not in the standards, but each company is going to vary a little bit. Check and see what they say about it. So your TLDR here is level three plus is not an official rating in the NIJ standards. So to say it has to stop X round or Y round, Z round to be rated level three, doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense because there's nothing to designate that. Now, each company's level three plus armor will vary as well. So pay attention to what the manufacturer says it's capable of stopping. The whole intention of level three plus armor is that it exceeds level three standards, but does not meet the level four standards. So that's where that armor is going to fall. Just pay attention to what each manufacturer says their level three plus is capable of stopping. So there's your, there's your myth of body armor for today. Appreciate you watching. Any other questions, comments you have on body armor you'd like us to address, send them down below or shoot us a message. We'd be happy to address those in the future in future videos. So thanks for watching, until next time.